everyone! Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we're going to make a loom knit candy corn. I will list everything you need in the description box below. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And we're going to put it on the outside anchor peg. Attach it, but not too tight. And we're going to do the drawstring cast on which is wrapping the working yarn behind and in front of each peg. Do that the whole way around the loom. Now we're coming to the end, so you want to place that in back of, and we're just going to keep that the way it is. And now we're going to start our knit over. So what we're going to do is every peg that has two strands, we're going to knit over. Like this one has two strands, and the third one. So we're going to hold that tight and we're going to knit over those pegs with two strands. So that'll be every other peg. Again, we're going to do this the whole way around the loom and it's best when you're doing the drawstring cast on to do a little bit at a time instead of the whole loom at, at a time. It's just easier that way, at least it is for me. Okay, so we're now, we've now done our cast on. So we're going to skip that first peg and just put the working yarn in front of that peg. We're not going to do anything with peg one and we're going to start with peg two and knit over. And we're going to knit over each peg. This is what's called the flat knit. So each peg, we're just going to take the bottom over the top. Continue this the entire way around the loom. You can also do more than one peg at a time to save time. This is our first row, so go ahead and push your stitches down. And we're going to continue the same thing for the second row. So we're going to put that working yarn in front of, just like the others, in front of peg one and knit over and continue this the entire way around the loom. You're going to continue this for 10 rows. Again, you're going to continue this for 10 rows. Our 10 rows are done. Now we're going to connect the orange yarn to the yellow yarn. So I'm going to do this by the magic knot. So I'm going to lay the yarn out and I'm going to tie a knot at the top. And then I'm going to tie another knot at the bottom. After that, I'm going to pull on the part right outside of the knot. I'm going to pull both together and it's going to make the magic knot. So I'm going to grab it here, and then I'm going to grab the yellow by the loom right here and pull. So now we have our magic knot is in place, so we're going to knit over the last part of our yellow yarn. And again, we're just doing the flat knit, and our orange yarn is starting shortly after. I'm actually going to get one extra row out of this.
So I'm finishing the last peg and then coming up on the next row is the orange. There's the magic knot. So we're just going to wrap as normal, doing the flat knit or the U knit. Depending on how tight your stitches are, you can do either or in this project. I'm just doing this to show you exactly where we're at with the color. I have 15 rows of orange, and now we're ready to start our white. So here again, I'm going to show you the magic knot, and this time I'm going to do it a little bit closer to the loom. So I'm going to make my first knot close to the loom. Now you'll want to make sure that you leave enough of the yarn there where you can pull on it. And I'm going to have a separate video to show you how to do the magic knot. And then you're going to tie the white and the orange. And again, you're just going to do a knot and pull it. Pull it tight. And then the area of the yarn close to the loom, you're going to hold on to that. And then hold on to the white and pull. So see, there you go. I'm pulling it and there's my magic knot and I'm going to trim the ends. And now we start our white. Now you may have a little bit left over of a certain color and that's okay. So here we are starting our white and we're going to do the same process. And for the white, I'm doing seven rows. We're knitting over the same way as the other colors. Okay, we are done with our white. And again, we did seven rows of the white. Now we're going to do the drawstring cast off. So I'm going to wrap my working yarn one and a half times around the loom. And then I'm going to give it a snip. I'm going to get my working yarn out of the way here. Okay, so I'm going to take the tail and place it below the stitch on the peg like I'm doing a purl stitch and reach through with my tool and pull out that tail. And I'm going to do that for each peg. So again, I'm going to take that tail, put it below the stitch on the peg and pull it out with my loom tool. And I'm going to do this the entire way around the loom. Now, sometimes when you're doing this, the tension can get a little tight. And if that happens, what I like to do is go at the front where you started and just pop those pegs right like this off of the loom. So I'm sorry, pop the stitches, not the pegs. So just to loosen the tension up a little, I'm just going to pop a few of those stitches off of the pegs and that's going to make it easier to go around the loom so your yarn isn't so tight. So keep going around the loom. So I'm going to let some off of the peg. Have a few more to go. Okay, it's off of the peg. Now I'm going to take that tail and pull. Because remember, we did a drawstring, so it's going to just close right up. Just pull on that, turn it inside out, and we're going to close that hole up. And we're going to knot it. Since this is on the inside, I do not need to sew this in. So all I'm going to do is tie a knot and make sure it's nice and tight and firm and not going to go anywhere. And then I'm just going to cut it. 
So again, this is on the inside of the candy corn. It's going to have stuffing. I don't need to cut it. It's already knotted and secure, and that's what matters. And now we are on to our stuffing. So I'm going to start with the white part, and I'm going to adjust my stuffing accordingly on the shape of the candy corn. So obviously the white part is going to have less than the orange, the orange part, and then obviously the yellow part will have the most of the stuffing as it's the biggest piece or the biggest area of the candy corn. So I'm going to add a little bit more stuffing to the top. And what's good with this is you can stretch it out and shape the candy corn however you want it. So it's squeezable and you can form it. So just add as much stuffing as you want. It doesn't have to be overloaded, but like I said, I am going to add a little bit more to the yellow part to make it bigger than I did to the white part. And if you find that it's too much, you can always take some stuffing out. For the last part, with the yellow tail, we're going to sew that loose end in and make sure it's secure and that will be the end of our candy corn. Now we're just going to sew that tail into the top and secure it into the candy corn. And that's going to do it for our loom knit candy corn. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.